Hello and welcome to today's episode of the Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial series. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking you through how to export a frame from your timeline. Um, so go ahead and open up a project and you can follow along with me. So a lot of the time when producing video content, um, for example, if you're doing it on a professional or um, commercial basis, um, some clients may ask you for still shots or photographs as well as the video files. So for example, if you have gone on a video shoot and you haven't actually taken any stills, um, an easy way to get around this and still produce some nice quality shots depending on what camera equipment you're using um, is to export frames of your video content. So simply slide through your, your video and choose a frame that you would like to export. And then what you're gonna do is click this camera button on the timeline. And what it will do is it will bring up the following. So you're just gonna name it, whatever you want. So I'm gonna call this um, So I'm going to call this mountain shot and you can choose the format of how you'd like to export it. So port portable network graphic is what this stands for and it would be the best quality way you could export it. Um, JPEG is also useful um, for a smaller file size and you've got your other ones here where if you needed to you could also use but I'm going to stick with portable network graphic. Um, and then you can browse and choose where you would like to export this to. So here's the last place I exported mine. So create a folder called stills, select folder and that's where it'll export to. If you needed to bring this still into the project you can also tick this box and hit OK and it will bring your still into the project for you to use. Okay so a second way that we can export images um, is by using our actual export tab so file export however you need to be careful with this um, so choose a specific frame and click I for in and then go forward by one frame and click your out point so that has selected exactly one frame in the shot and then we're gonna go file export media or another way you could do that is control M and then we're going to go format and choose JPEG or PNG whichever suits and then we're going to click our output name and choose our folder um, and just call this mountain shot and that will export as a JPG file um, why you need to select exactly one frame is because if you don't select your in and out points um, it will export every single frame in your sequence and you'll end up with a folder full of about 20,000 however many frames um, and that can be handy if you if that's something you need um, however if you're just looking to export one frame the best way to do that is by using your in and out points which I have done a video on already I will leave a link in the description um, so yeah, use your in and out points and file, export or control M and that is how you will get your frame exported. So yeah, thank you for watching. Any questions, please comment them below and we will get back to you as soon as we can. And thank you for listening. Um, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, bye.